So in this video we will be making a batch of R candy fuel. So we're going to be making a 200 gram batch. Which you can weigh out with a kitchen scale. So for Every 200 grams, it's going to be three-fourths of a cup of water. and then you just dissolve your powder in your water. And the powder is 65% KNO3 and 35% circo sugar, so like powdered sugar. So after you have mixed your KNO3 mix and uh, the water, then you'll be heating up a pot to about half heat on an electric stove. I suggest use electric instead of a burner because it works better and it's way safer. So you're going to pour your mix into your pot. I like to use as a candy thermometer. I buy it at the store for about three dollars. And then you just drop it right in your pot. And you'll be able to watch the heat. You should be going up to about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. While this is sitting here, you should be constantly stirring your mix. You're going to keep on stirring until all the water will boil away. So you can see that's now boiling. And that's a good sign. You just want all the water to steam off and leave the solid fuel behind melted. So as you go on, it'll get thicker and thicker while the water boils away. And it's alright if it's all bubbling off the bottom like this. That's a good sign. This is the popping stage. This is when your fuel turns into a slurry and all the water escaping from the bottom. Keep on stirring. So now the water is starting to all be boiled away. It's turning to more of a solid. You're going to want to keep on cooking it. Until it starts turning a more brownish color. You don't want to burn it though. You just want to release every single little bit of water. So you can see it's turning into more and more of a solid. The whole process should take around 15 20 minutes max. So now it's going to start going through a mashed potato stage. It's a lot thicker. And then you know that it's pretty much all done. 
and so now we're going to be doing the casting. I built this rig to do this. It's just some schedule 40 PVC and then I have some greased oil rods that are stuck in the wood below. And these PVC pipes are able to come out so then you can reload the fuel pipes in there. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your fuel want a couple of utensils to do this. You're just going to sort of scrape it in there. So after you have let your rocket cool, which takes about half an hour, I usually like leaving them in the fridge for half an hour. Now we're going to assemble it. So you get, I since it's in a half inch PVC, I like getting the half inch caps and then cutting them in half or, you know, cutting about a quarter inch off to make them less weight. And then you get a half inch coupling, you cut it in half. And you're also going to need... small fender washer. You can buy them at most of all hardware stores. And the small fender washer has to have about a one eighth hole, one eighth inch, and then it should be able to fit on the pretty tight on the inside of this coupling. So the first thing you're going to do is take your PVC glue. I'm just going to mark around the side without a hole or the back of the rocket. And then you're going to take your cap and you're going to put it on the back of it. Usually this takes some pounding or let's get a few pounds on a workbench. And then just wipe away the excess glue. And then you're going to put it on this side, on the front side, side with the, with the hole. And then you're going to put on this coupling. You're only going to put it on about halfway. About right there. So then there's about half inch on the inside. And then you're going to take another small piece of extra scrap PVC pipe. You're going to cut about a one fourth inch piece off. Clean it off, take all the burrs off. And then you're going to take your fender washer. And you're going to put it right here on the inside of the coupling. And then you're just going to ever so slightly doesn't take that much glue. 
just paint the inside of the coupling what's left and then you're going to wash all the glue off that you got on the fender washer and you're going to stick your small scrap piece of PVC around the inside of the coupling.